So yesterday, our lesson was the elements of art and the principles of design. And basically, that's the uh, weapons that you use to fight against a project. Like, how can you use... Well, let's just look at them real quick. Let me do the share screen. Um, how can you use um, color, particularly in your poster? Can you take out some color and add other color? For instance, if you're doing a um, poster for Auburn University... Can you suck out the color green on the field and just make everything red or sorry, um, blue and orange? If you're doing something for University of Alabama, can you suck out the color of the entire crowd and just make everything crimson? You know, that kind of thing. Um, so uh, all of these things, space, uh, not like, <laughs> excuse me, not like outer space, but just uh, things that appear as though they are they have depth. You know, it looks like even though we're working on a flat canvas, a flat sheet of paper, it looks like some things are in front of others and that things go deep um, into the page. Um, line, how can you use line or lines, plural, texture, shapes, things like that. These are the building blocks on the left. These are the walls. You know, to make principles of design, it takes the elements of art to do it. Just for instance, like uh, for unity, if somebody is wearing a red hat and a red shirt, drinking from a red Coca-Cola bottle in front of a red background. It has unity because it's all of the color red, but it took color to create the unity, you know, or for, um, for pattern, big, 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 small, big, 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 small, big, 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 small, but it took size to do that, you know, things like that. So anyway, some ways that we are doing it here at Auburn High School. Yesterday we showed how we use elements of art in this particular project, color and emphasis and, shape and things like that. Um, here's some Auburn High School ones that were done this year that use the elements of art without even thinking about it. And this is not even trying. This is just doing it. Um, you know, now if you intentionally do it, it may turn out, who knows, maybe even better. Um, but uh, like this, uh, the shape is not a necessity. It's an accessory. It just makes it look cooler, you know, and that's good enough reason for me to use it, right? So... Um, also, texture. It's not solid white. I don't know if you'll be able to see very well online, uh, but it's got like this subtle little concrete kind of texture in there. So, um, and then as far as uh, emphasis, she made everything black and white except Auburn, you know, so it's emphasized. So, uh, multiple things. Here's one uh, where it has, you know, 3D form and 2D shape and one dimensional lines, kind of all combined. So, um, Here's one about space, like, even though it's flat, it looks deep. It looks like there's a football player in front of words. The words are in front of the logo. The logo is on the wall. It looks like it has depth. It looks like it kind of goes back, you know. So um, contrast, half of this is blue, half of this is uh, desaturated, no color. And then there's these arbitrary cool little lines on the side just for the sake of decoration to make it look cool. There's another, uh, like the first. Shapes everywhere, just a bunch of shapes uh, again, it's not that they're necessary. It's just that they make it look cooler, which is good enough reason for, for us. Uh, there's more shapes, just kind of arbitrary, random shapes and lines and things like that, just for the sake of looking cool. So um, let's see your emphasis is basically all black and white, except for our logo and just a handful of other things. But for the most part, black and white with one thing in color. Uh, lines, I mean, just like random little lines, just because they look cool. Just these little ritzy, fritzy lines, underlines, outlines, things like that. Uh, so um, let's see if there's that, – that's the Auburn High School ones. And then you can get into professional ones where they, you know, they obviously use lines and other things as well. Uh, that's probably enough for today. i got more stuff to show you all for tomorrow's. But uh, anyway, we want to – y'all, you guys uh, in, in the department at Auburn High School – Y'all do a good job of thinking of texture. Like uh, we add texture often and good textures. But um, we want to start using, you know, um, potentially some other weapons as well. Like um, how can you use lines? How can you use shapes? How can you use size, scale? Like some things extra big just for the sake. Let me show you a quick example. Eh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and do it here real quick. Just calm down. It'll be worth your while. So, like, uh, let me see if I can quickly find it. 
Um, mm, like this. Okay, for Kansas's football poster, they just made the case so doggone big. Most of the time, we just don't think to do that. It's so simple. Like, they just made the K too big to fit on the page. That's so simple. But we don't, you know, that's kind of outside the box. Usually when we type, we type like this, rock chalk, you know, where it fits on the page. They did it so big that it can't fit on the page. That's simple, simple stuff. Just creative things like that to kind of get your juices flowing. So uh, that's good enough for today. If you guys have any questions, just holler. And I'll talk to you uh, later on.